Hey guys, this is Brownstone669 here, and today I'm making a top 5 based on the best weapons of all time in the Call of Duty's history, in my opinion. This is just opinion based. And by the way, some of the videos that is recorded for the gameplay videos, please don't mind them because they're only used for the top 5, but they are used from other channels. Please do not react to this as a copyright because this is only a top 5. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. And now, without any further ado, let's move on to our number five, uh, to our top five, because, well, I don't want to bore you guys to death. So let's move on to our number five spot. This gun is very powerful for high rounds, but the only issue is it's not very good when it's round 100. We'll see what it is. I'll debrief you about all of the gun's details at the end of the clip. But point is though, he has the Reagan Mark II on town, and it, the map pack isn't even out yet. So, guys, what I need you guys to do is I'm gonna tweet, I'm gonna put like their uh, tweet links, David Vonderhart, and I'm gonna put Treyarch, uh, like at Treyarch, at David Vonderhart in the title of this video. Make sure to give the, this video a like. You guessed it, guys. On our number five spot, it's the Reagan Mark II. Now, the reason being is because, well, in earlier rounds, until round, let's say 70 or 60, it gets weaker, but. In the early rounds, it's pretty good, especially when pack a punch. Uh, it makes it last for another 20 or 10 extra rounds, I believe, from my perspective of the Rega Mark II. And it's very efficient and very powerful, even more so in Black Ops 2. Let's move on to our number 4 spot. On my number 4 spot, we have a gun that's personally from one of my most favorite maps. Let's see what it is. I'll debrief it at the very end of the clip. Have any zombies? Make sure there's uh, at least uh, one left. Dad, yeah, let's no. clear up here, relaxing. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Yeah, take it. Quad. All right, yeah. I gotta find you guys. Where are you guys? All right, oh, here. Okay. Um. Oh, it's. On the number four spot, we have the Blundiger. Now, the reason being is because, well, it's a really powerful gun. And yes, it's amazing with the Acid Gat, even more so than the Magma Gat. The Magma Gat is what really disappoints me about this gun. Besides that, everything else in general with this gun is just beast. I cannot believe how powerful the weapon is, and I cannot stop praising it whenever I see it. Let's move on to our number 3 spot. On now number 3 spot we have a classic gun for the ages since the very first Call of Duty Zombies game. Let's see what it is, I'll debrief it at the end of the clip. On our number 3 spot, we have the DG2 Wonderwaff. Now, the reason why I'm adding this as a, my number 3 spot is because, well, I really like the gun since Call of Duty World of War 2 to Black Ops 1, but when they remastered it in the Giants map in Black Ops 3, and they had its nerf, buff, nerf and buff, you get what I mean, but it's not... Well, that's what disappointed me, which is that it got many nerfs, but alongside buffs. Now let's see what our number 2 spot is. On our number 2 spot we have a gun that is pretty much the master of making black holes and killing zombies. Let's see what it is, I'll debrief it at the very end of the clip. Oh my god, Shushana. Look at that. Um... When we get a, uh, when you get 2k, we're gonna go jump through here and so you can get a uh, stamina. Oh my god, all the tentacles moving and everything. I got pushed and I'm jumping. Yeah, I, I just jumped. You guys guessed it, the number 2 spot belongs to the Apothecon Servant. Now the reason being that I'm saying this as well because, yes it kills Margaret and yes it 
does pretty much half the job of killing the panzer, and I really love how it's just been able to use be used for a general high round attempt, and it makes me impressed to believe that there's a nearly indestructible gun compared to like the DG2 Wonderwolf and many other famous guns. Now let's move on to our honourable mentions. Working a video, I encourage you guys to hit that like button, and if you're new, go ahead and hit that sub button too. That'd be greatly appreciated. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the M1927 was only in Mob of the Dead on the wall by the docks for I think it was 1500 points, and it was one of the better guns in Black Ops 2. It returned in Origins 2 from the box, but uh, yeah, honestly, it was one of the better wall weapons we've ever had in Call of Duty Zombies, and it returns again in Revelations. Now, is it as good as the Mob of the Dead version? Hell no. It's, it's, guys. We've taken the lead. Five blanks in five. Friendly five blade inbound. SR-71 ready for deployment. Our SR-71's in the air. On our number one spot, we have a weapon that pretty much does the job by blowing zombies away. Let's see what it is, I'll debrief it at the end of the clip. Bits of string. May your fallen corpses serve as a warning. Again. First to die, on our number one spot we have the thunder gun now the reason being that i placed this gun on my number one spot is well basically it survives all of the rounds it can kill all of the boss fights as long as you know how to use it properly even when packer punched and uh yeah it can survive until like let's say over around 100 which is that that's a pretty beast amount of power if you ask me in the most capable hands especially while training zombies to get you out of those clutch corners anyway besides that um that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video today please like and subscribe for more videos like these ones and don't forget to leave any comments down below in the description for any improvements on my channel besides that guys i am out peace